Out of my mind, I'll be outside Saying what I want, trying to pick the fight You cannot care that you're back was um, a song called Lay It Down. It was 10 years ago and uh, I had a little home studio set up. I didn't really know how to use it at the time. But I remember this song being great because it sort of just came out of nowhere and then it was written within an hour or two. Um, and it doesn't usually happen like that for me. So uh, I only have fond memories of that experience. It was such a long time ago. Uh, Elliot, the keyboard player in the band, was still in high school. So he came home from school and uh, then he put some keyboards on it and then Zach came in with some guitar and then that song was done and then we uploaded it to Triple J on Earth and, and we were done with it. It was for a song called Don't Ever Want to Be Found and uh, it was a wonderful experience. A man named Andrew Lancaster directed it and it was shot mainly on Super 8 um, and it was shot in our hometown of Menangle, New South Wales. Uh, we shot some of it in our backyard. We went down to the river and it was just this kind of like I don't know, just kids being kids kind of video, jumping off rocks into the river and road swings and um, running around and it was really like fast paced and, and, and yeah, it was our first experience and it was a low budget and it was a tiny crew but it was, it was really fun and we really liked the video to this day. It was for a song called Hallelujah um, and I love this because we didn't really have to feature in it much which is always a plus, uh, it's always hard performing in a music video. Uh, but also we we had this amazing concept and these great directors and we had this amazing interpretive dancer. Um, we shot it under a, a flyover down in Melbourne and it was this kind of dingy, uh, abandoned sort of landscape. And it was just this one shot video of this amazing guy named uh, Martin Delamo and he did this beautiful dance and then at the end it sort of turned to us and we were performing. And, um, I feel like it really still holds up that video. Yeah, I love it. One of my favorite lyrics in a song of ours was written by Elliot. Um, it's in a song called God Forgot, and it's at the very end. It's very short, but it's just this little one line where it says, uh, it's a party if Nanny's involved. And that's a reference to our grandma who we called Nanny. And uh, after suffering a stroke years and years ago, she wasn't left with too many words, but one of the only words that she could still say was party. So um, that one's for you, Nanny. Uh, a song that ended up being kind of an unexpected success, or wasn't expected by us as a band at least, was um, Live In Life, which came out a couple of years ago. Um, it was suggested by the label that we put this song out as a single, and we liked the song, we, we, we were into it, but we really had no idea of the potential, and, and they saw it. So we released that song as a standalone single, um, and it's now our most streamed song ever, I think. So, um, yeah, well done, label. Sometimes uh, we get it wrong, that's for sure. Um, it's nice to have that collaboration um, between label management and, and band, because it's often that you don't really see the potential in something, and yeah, that one really did work out for us. 0202 um, is our fourth album, and um, it was really, really special to get our first ever number one album on the fourth, you know? We didn't think we'd make it this far, and um, it's not necessarily why we do it, but it was something that we'd always wanted to achieve. So when we actually got the news that we'd gone number one, it was, it was beautiful because we're 10 years in and we don't want to stop. And, and to know that, you know, we're still reaching goals at this point, um, it's really encouraging and um, yeah, it was just a really nice confidence boost. Hold my breath. I take a hit.